The iconic 17th hole looks really inviting from the tee. A short par 4 and you can just about make out the left hand side of the green. But don't fall into the trap of thinking the open space in front of you makes this an easy hole. Halfway down on the right hand side we have a big oak tree and any shot hitting the fairway right of centre will be thrown in that direction. Your second shot onto the green will be blocked and you'll be in recovery mode. Instead, play this more like a proper dog leg. Your tee shot needs to land left of centre and can even take advantage of the semi-rough on the left hand side to give you a clear line into the green. Your target line is towards the cart path, just right of the copse of silver birches. If you're a big hitter, you want to club down to make sure you don't run into trouble. If you've found the right hand side, or worse, you won't be alone. You'll find yourself behind the big oak tree and you need to consider your strategy. Far enough back and you can choose to fly a high ball over the tree, but that's a tough shot. Even if you clear the tree, you'll probably find the big bunker on the right. Closer in and a low punch shot under the tree needs to clear Germany back and may scoot through the green. The safe option is to chip back onto the fairway and towards the ditch. From the left, you have the perfect line into the green for a simple pitch shot. You need to carry the ball over Germany back and then another 20 yards to find the front of the green. If you've missed the water and the bunker and found the green, you'll have a fairly flat part to the flag. Of course, if you're stuck in the ash tree, you're in good company. Hole 17, Langer. Do I really have to tell you? If there's one player who's synonymous with Fulford, it's Bernard Langer, the Red Baron. In 1981, Langer's second shot lodged itself in the ash tree on the left of the green. He elected to shin up the tree to play his third, then two putted for bogey. Worldwide TV coverage of his antics overshadowed Tom Weisskopf's win and made both Langer and Fulford famous overnight. Langer played in the championships at Fulford nine times, but never won, although he did win the Bunsen & Hedges trophy twice on other courses. He's been hugely successful on the PGA Seniors Tour with 41 wins and 11 senior majors, and he's still going strong. He is Fulford's golfing legend and definitely one of the greatest golfers of all time.